A number of range improvement projects have been underway for some time. Most of the projects not only help ranchers improve their range, but they also improve conditions for wildlife, for recreation, and for our air and water. Take the Reese Creek project on the Ensign Cattle Ranch in Echo Canyon. A series of artificial beaver ponds have been constructed to slow the water flow, which reduces erosion and sediment buildup in the water. The project cut sediment in the water from an average of 275 parts per million to just 14 parts per million. That kind of success is attracting visitors like members of the Society of Range Management who recognize the environmental benefits of the project. I think the positive thing uh, comes from a variety of things. We're seeing the use by livestock on an area that's still being managed to improve watersheds, improve water quality, maintain riparian areas, or in this case, restore a riparian area that was severely damaged. Less sediment means cleaner water for fish habitat and cleaner drinking water downstream. The Weber Basin Water Conservancy District treats the Reese Creek water before it sends it along to its 500,000 customers in Weber and Davis counties. General Manager Tage Flint says they spend $30,000 a year less because of the beaver ponds. Grazing projects and mitigation projects such as this give us uh, simply a better raw water quality coming into our drinking water treatment plants. And as a result, we get two things. One, a savings of, of chemical costs and also a better end product of drinking water coming from the effluent of these plants. Other GIP projects are removing invasive weed species that can quickly spread and take over productive rangelands. Weeds impact everyone, actually. We're finding today that the weeds are impacting all aspects of society. Probably millions of dollars are spent in controlling weeds on highway rights of way. Uh, recreation is impacted. If you are a, a mountain biker, if you have ever encountered uh, puncture vine, you know that weeds can impact your form of recreation. Um, weeds are impacting wildlife, and if weeds impact wildlife, then they impact those who enjoy wildlife as a form of recreation. Uh, ecologically, weeds are impacting our native plant communities by crowding out native plants and uh, changing the ecosystem. These projects create healthy landscapes that benefit recreation, wildlife, and Utah's overall quality of life. One of our more ambitious projects is underway right now with the reseeding of the land damaged in the historic Milford Flat Fire in Beaver and Millard counties.